Welcome to this Windows channel and um, I thought I'd give out a little bit of my personal observations of Windows 10 S and um, I am looking at Windows 10 S with I don't know maybe I, I could have a flawed observation of Windows 10 S because I for me Windows is something is an operating system that you do whatever you want it's an open operating system. You install your favorite programs all the time, and you you can you know tweak and do all, all sorts of things here. And I look at Windows 10 S and just wonder how this could really appeal to a lot of people. Now, I'll I'll give the positive side first of all. Okay, I think for the education market, this could be good. Why? For a simple reason. Kids tend to install crapware and do all sorts of things on PCs and I, I would guess one of the reasons why some schools don't have PCs is and, and they have Chromebooks or other things like that is because no crapware possible on these machines and with Windows 10 S you achieve that goal so for schools and education Windows 10 S has the promise of uh, a secure operating system because you get stuff from the store as long as you don't need special programs that that still install from you know um, CDs or you know uh, download from the internet because those won't work. I could see some of the business market also wanting Windows 10 S for a simple reason. Uh, once again, one of the reason, the main reasons, is the fact that you don't have to worry about viruses that your employees can maybe install. Why? Because it can install desktop 32 apps, so viruses mainly and often come from that type of source. So basically you can't execute it. It won't work. It will say, nah, you can't execute this here. It, it, it does make it more secure, I do, I do think. Uh, so for some businesses and, you know, the office uh, products will be available through the store, so they'll have Word and Excel and PowerPoint and stuff like that. But on the mainstream of, you know, me, you, and everybody else, where I don't understand Windows 10 S, and first of all, and let me, you know, I, I hear a lot of things about Windows 10 S here and there, and, you know, uh, a lot of people say, oh, it's a lightweight version of Windows 10, and uh, so on, and, and, and the idea, you know, I, I thought when Windows 10 Cloud was announced, it'd be some kind of stripped-down version version of Windows 10 that would be very lightweight would rely more on the cloud services like Google Chrome and would probably need very very little specs on the machine in order for it to run well but when you look at Windows 10 S and um, you know a lot of people got it wrong a lot of people say no no it's not the same version as Windows 10 it is it's exactly the same thing for example, if you would have a PC that has a problem with Windows 10, if you install Windows 10 S, it'll have the same problem. It's the same thing with stripped down versions of the Pro version. So it does give some interesting, you know, uh, things like postponing some updates, stuff like that, that Windows Pro users have. It has, um, you know, you, you get your stuff from the store. You're stuck with Microsoft Edge. You gotta understand that that's the only browser you'll use. And even worse, today we learned that Microsoft doesn't even want to allow Chrome or Firefox to be in the store and download and have a third-party browser. You know, one of the things that I really think would make Windows 10 S succeed is if it is mainstream enough that it appeals to all the developers and all the companies that make software into saying, well, you know what? I think it's time now. Let's let's do our, our apps for, you know, so they are available on the Windows Store so everybody can, can get our apps. So that is uh, interesting. You know, that would, I think that could be in, uh, a positive point. But now you're saying, oh, well, no, we're not, we won't accept Chrome or Firefox or third-party browsers you have to use Edge. I think that's a nail in the coffin of Windows 10 S, especially since 
I can't understand that somebody in the first year that has a Windows 10 S and knows that you can upgrade for free wouldn't do it. I'd be the first to do it. I'd be the first to buy a PC with Windows 10 S and say, hey, I'm going Pro now. And even after, for 50 bucks, you go to Pro, I'd pay 50 bucks to go to Pro. I mean, I don't want to have S on my computers. Of course, I'm a different type of user than a lot of people, but that's where, I, I don't know, it kind of bugs me down a little bit for Windows 10 S. Um, I, I do, you know, uh, don't take me wrong here. I do not wish this to not work or anything. But I just don't understand where they're positioning Windows 10 S and what it will bring. You know, the people say, yeah, but it must be lightweight because they say more battery life. More battery life is simply because the systems will be tweaked more. The hardware will give the battery life because, like I told everybody, this is Windows 10. This is the same code. There is no difference in Windows 10 S than Windows 10 Pro. They just tweaked it to remove the possibility to install apps, uh, desktop 32 programs, that's it, and, you know, tweaked it to have some of the features of Pro. So it's like an in-between home and Pro that just relies on the store and just uses Edge. And I think they're using the, oh, there's, there's going to be better battery life because of, of course, their famous saying that Edge is a better browser for surfing and saving battery. And also, um, you know, I think they're relying on the new hardware that will run this. And I gotta say, they say, oh, hardware will start at 189. I can tell you one thing, at $189, that, that PC that will run Windows 10 S will rather be crappy, will have very little storage, will not be very interesting. I don't see Windows 10 S running well on such a low price device so i don't know it's uh it's something i have a little problem with and i and, and i have even more problems with it now that they say oh no chrome or firefox even though they would appear in the windows store that is uh that is a downer that is the that is the side of it that just tells me okay now you got it wrong now you got it wrong. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. And uh, you know, I'm I, I sure want Windows 10 S to succeed. And you know, I think it it has some markets for that. You know, everywhere where security is needed, that will be a secure operating system compared to regular Windows 10. But apart from that, don't think that this Windows is different from Windows 10 that you have on your PC. It's not. Same code. You got a problem. It's gonna have the same problem. It's just the way it is. So, I don't know. My personal observations. What do you think of Windows 10 S, personally? You know, I've... Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I halfway there? Am I missing something? I don't know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.